Have you ever heard of a fish that looks innocent, but has teeth that resemble a human's? A fish so adaptable that it can travel across continents, survive in unknown waters, outgrow local species, and quietly take over entire river systems? Today, we're diving into the strange world of the Paku, also called the River Pomfret, a fish that has slipped out of South, America's Amazon Basin, and is now appearing in waters across India. At first glance, the Paku looks like a peaceful, flat-bodied freshwater fish, definitely not a monster. But the moment you see its teeth, you realize nature has a bizarre sense of humor. Those teeth are not sharp like piranhas, but blunt, square, and disturbingly human-like. So how did a South American fish end up in Indian ponds, lakes, and rivers? It began with aquaculture and ornamental fish trade. Farmers liked Paku because it grows fast, eats almost anything, and survives tough conditions. But when unwanted fish were released, or escaped during floods, they entered open waters. And that's when things changed. The Paku is a survival machine. It can digest plants, fruits, insects, snails, and even small fish. It can tolerate low oxygen water. It grows rapidly, sometimes outcompeting native species like rohu, katla and tilapia. And because it doesn't need a very specific diet, it settles into new environments with surprising ease. But is Paku dangerous? Unlike its infamous cousin, the piranha, Paku is not known for attacking humans. It's naturally shy and prefers plant-based food, yet its powerful jaws can crack hard nuts in the Amazon, which means it can easily tear soft nets used by small fishermen. Many fishers in India have already switched from silk to stronger plastic nets after encountering Paku. In every ecosystem, balance is everything. The moment a fast-growing, fast-spreading outsider enters, local fish struggle. Paku competes for food, space, and breeding areas. Some studies show declining populations of smaller native fish wherever. Paku becomes established. But it isn't all bad. Some farmers like Paku because it grows quickly, sells well, and is hardy, making it economically valuable in controlled ponds. The real problems begin only when it escapes into natural water bodies. Yet the most fascinating part? This fish is still evolving in its new environment. Researchers are tracking how Paku adapts to Indian rivers, how its diet changes, how it interacts with native species, and whether it could alter local ecosystems in the long run.